let's take a look at the B FFB for the Flipper Zero. This board was created and made by Just Call Me Coco. And before we get into kind of like what the board can do, it's also a, a little piece of art. There's a number of little symbols on there. I do not know what they all mean. I'm sure they have some sort of connection uh, to Just Call Me Coco in some way. But let's go through them and kind of look at it because they're really cool. In some ways, they're very hieroglyphic. I love the art. So right there, we've got a little robot guy. We've got the clown guy right over here. I'm sure these are all memes of some sort as well. We've got the bird, a bird person. We've got the Just Call Me Coco symbol right here. We've got a pitchfork and the Just Call Me Coco right there, JCMK and the BFFB which I believe stands for Big Fucking Flipper Board. This board is very big, as you can see. It's, it's taller than the flipper and almost just as wide. I've also got SD card slot right there. And we can see we've got one, two, three, four, five different types of antennas. We can go over that as well. From left to right, we've got the NRF 24, we've got the 400 megahertz, 900 megahertz, we've got a GPS antenna, and we've got, of course, the ESP32 antenna, hooked right over there. Now, there's also a couple of toggle switches on this thing. There's these two toggle switches right here. What they allow you to do is this top one switches you from 900 megahertz to 400 megahertz. And this bottom switch switches you from the NRF 24, or if you switch it to the top, it allows you to use the, the CC1101s, the 400 or the 900 megahertz chips and antennas. We also have a number of little writings on it, kind of explaining, as you can see, a number of little writings on it, explaining what all these things kind of are. So we can see ESP32 receiver, uh, radio stuff right over there. And we've got a button over here that it specifically says, this button doesn't do anything. Well, let's press it. Didn't look like it did anything. Let's uh, go through kind of some of these things a little bit and, uh, and run it through a little bit of its paces. So the first thing I'll do is I will switch this to the NRF24. Oh, it's already on the NRF24, good. And then we can run that app. So if we go to apps, GPIO, down here to NRF 24, and let's just do the sniffer. Actually, let's do the scanner. Scanner's a little more fun sometimes. Okay. Not going to log into the stuff, we're just going to start a sniff. And we'll see if we see anything. I'm kind of in a, uh, a room away from stuff, so we may not see too much but it is absolutely running it. Let's see. Let's start that again. So it's running through some channels now. Oh, we're picking some information up now. Cool. So it's absolutely working, which is great. Now, Let's toggle and use something else. So if we take this and we switch it to the CC1101 functions, we can see that light change. And now I'm using the 400 megahertz antenna. And we can do a scan on that. So if we go to sub gigahertz, we'll do a little 
frequency analyzer. Bring this down a little bit. And see if we catch anything. There we go. So we're catching some signal there. Very good. Just for giggles, let's uh, bring this up a little bit. 433.99, that's kind of cool. Let's go look at that for a second. We can go over here, change that FM, we'll start to AM. Oh, not seeing anything there. A little bit there, let's see if we catch anything. We might not have in this uh, kind of concrete room here. Let's go to the FM, nothing there. All right, but we do see that it is catching signal, very cool. And then if we wanted to, we can exit out of this, and then we could switch to the 900 megahertz chip. Let's see, bam. Now, we might not catch any signal on that, but let's run it anyway. Why not? So, gigahertz, frequency analyzer, let's see. Now, a lot of times, yeah, you'll still get whatever's pumping through, so I'm still getting around that 300 range, which is fine. Let's see, let's select that. Let's see if we get anything, just curious. Just curious. Um, it's a little better. Even if we don't catch anything, it's fine. We can see that it is, uh, you know, it's reading signal for sure. Very cool. Now, let's try something real fun. Let's use the ESP32. So I want to, I believe, switch. Ah, no, I don't think I have to switch anything. Let's see here. So if I use Wi-Fi Marauder, let's get some APs. Actually, it's War Drive. Why not? Why not? Let's see if we see anything here. There it goes. So we can see that this chip has been engaged. And I think we're getting GPS information. I believe we are. Usually though, oh, there we go. We got blinks. Let's see. Let's take a look if we're seeing any satellites here. So if we come down, we go to GPS data. Let's see if we're catching anything. It's trying, but I am in this, like I said, cemented up room here. So we may have a little bit of an issue catching any satellites. Yeah, it doesn't quite look like we're catching any satellites, but we can see that the chip is trying. It's trying to Catch some stuff. It's got a little blinky light there. And just for giggles, let's switch this up a little bit. We'll go here. To the NRF24. Let's just run that again. Why not? Let's see if it runs correctly. I'm curious. So we'll go up with this GPS stream. Yeah, pretty much the same thing. We're not catching any satellites, but that's probably because I'm in this giant cemented room. Let's just take a walk for a second and see if we catch any satellites. It is slightly unwieldy. It is in no way discreet. for us and I want to see if we're going to catch any satellites. Let's see here. Oh, 
I'm just curious if we'll get anything. Nothing yet. But that's okay. Definitely was catching some things earlier when I was outside. It was working just fine. Let's see on this one here. Yeah, number of satellites. We're not getting any satellites right now, it says. Satellites zero. But this thing is, uh, it's quite a little monster. Let me tell you, it, it's heavy. It does all the cool stuff that you want it to do for the flipper. Here, let's bring it kind of closer to the window and we'll see if we catch any satellites here. Let's see. Curious if we'll get anything. Yeah, no satellites at this point. Like I said, everything that you'd want and a little bit more for your Flipper Zero is in the BFFB, Big Fucking Flipper Board, by Just Call Me Coco. And. What a magnificent, not only board, but a little piece of art. It is really just a little piece of art. You also have your boot and your reset if you want to flash it. Without the flipper, you can flash it using the, the flipper uh, itself. And it's got all the cool stuff. Yeah. The BFFB Big Fucking Flipper Board by Just Call Me Coco for the Flipper Zero.